Isn't it intriguing how Buckingham Palace is addressing allegations of racism? And what does the support from figures like Sir Kenneth Elisa tell us about their strategy? Let's take a step back to where it all began. The world watched as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex sat down with Oprah Winfrey, shedding light on their experiences within the royal family. One revelation that caused a stir was the alleged comments about their son, Archie's skin color. The aftermath saw Buckingham Palace in a whirlwind of public scrutiny. Rather than retreating, the royal family, spearheaded by King Charles, began to rally support, a move that demonstrates their strategic approach to managing this sensitive issue. High-profile figures such as Sir Kenneth Elisa, the first Black Lord Lieutenant of London, were brought into the fray, offering their perspectives to counter the allegations. So, the stage is set, the allegations have been made and Buckingham Palace is responding, but how have they done so, and what role does Sir Kenneth Elisa play in this? Enter Sir Kenneth Elisa, the first Black Lord Lieutenant of London. A key player in this saga, Elisa brings a unique perspective to the table. Known for his influential role, he offers a different lens through which to view the controversial discussions about Archie's skin color. In his view, these discussions are not inherently racist, but rather a typical part of family conversations. Without knowing the context or intention behind such remarks, he argues, it's premature to label them as racist. This stance seems to align with the broader narrative being presented by the palace and its allies. Instead of viewing the situation as one of racism, they're attempting to reframe it as a misunderstanding or misinterpretation. But amidst heated debates and public scrutiny, can this perspective hold water? Is it possible to separate the comment from the racial implications many see inherent in it? Elisa's perspective is clear. But is it enough to shift the narrative and public perception? The royal family's strategy is unfolding. It's a carefully choreographed dance, a measured response to the allegations of racism that have rocked the foundation of the Buckingham Palace. The strategy seems to pivot on a key point, reframing the narrative. It's not about racism, they suggest, but perhaps misunderstanding or misinterpretation. The royal family, led by King Charles, appears to leverage influential figures like Sir Kenneth Elisa to support their stance. Elisa, the first Black Lord Lieutenant of London, has publicly downplayed the notion that discussing a baby's skin color is inherently racist, painting it as a harmless family chatter instead. His perspective echoes the broader narrative presented by the palace and its allies. Yet, this approach has not gone unchallenged. Critics argue it evades the deeper issues of race and representation within the monarchy. The royal family's strategy is clear, but the question remains, is it effective? And what does it mean for the future of the monarchy? Thank you for tuning into Majesty Moments. Watch our next video, Royal Strategy, the Windsor's response to the Sussex's Oprah interview, or hit subscribe to get the latest royal gossip.